So in the event Gavin Newsom is successfully recalled, Caitlyn Jenner is mounting a campaign against him. She wants to be the next governor of California, and she's a Republican. Now, it's interesting to me that she is a Republican, considering the fact that the Republican Party has made it abundantly clear that they hate people like Caitlyn Jenner. They hate the LGBTQ plus community, and especially they hate trans people. And I don't think it's hyperbolic to use the word hate given their actions. So just this year, they've passed more bills banning trans high schoolers from school sports, banning trans affirming healthcare for transgender youth than in recent years. So they've made it abundantly clear they want nothing to do with the trans community and every action that they take is to further hurt the trans community. But still, Caitlyn Jenner, you know, she has class solidarity and she, since she's a rich Republican, she acknowledges that, you know, the tax cuts... They come at a price. Sure, it is the case that Republicans hate trans people, but those tax cuts are really, really nice, and she wants them to keep coming. So she's even gone so far as to throw her own community under the bus, saying, mm, actually, it is about fairness if we ban trans high schoolers from school sports. <coughs> yeah. So that is what uh, moral depravity looks like, folks. But even though Caitlyn Jenner has tried to carve out some space within the Republican Party and prove to folks that, you know, there is room for a transgender woman in the Republican Party. What do they do? How do they treat her? Well, like this at CPAC, where transphobes will literally follow her around, dead name her, and call her transphobic slurs. Take a look. Excuse me, Bruce. Bruce. I don't want to picture Bruce. Bruce. Bruce, what do you think about the stuff that they're teaching in the schools? Hey, Bruce. Bruce, what do you think about the stuff that they're teaching in the schools regarding the LGBTQ? About Jesus Christ, Bruce. Don't forget about Jesus. Look at that sick freak. Why do people? Why do people want a picture with him? I don't get that. These are conservatives, right? This no, is what we came not. to. That's the problem with Why do we want a picture with a tranny? Why do we want a picture with a tranny? It's supposed to be conservatives. I'm gonna go ask these people. Now, um, if that wasn't bad enough, you know, this kind of blew up. That video went viral and you have uh, transphobic Republican lawmakers basically condoning the hate that she received at CPAC. Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted out GOP support and consultants working to elect Jenner for governor in California are playing the left's stupid identity politics game, a game that sells out our faith, family and freedoms. Stop promoting this man in a dress and a never Trumper. California patriots worked too hard and deserve better. This is what they think about you, Caitlyn Jenner. To consistently try to align with a party that wants nothing to do with you and hates you, that is an abusive relationship by definition. And just you existing, being a Republican, running for governor as a Republican, as a trans woman, you know, Marjorie Greene says that that's selling out the Republican Party's faith. She called you a man in a dress it's morally reprehensible. They are outspokenly and explicitly transphobic. So Caitlyn Jenner has to bear some responsibility here. I mean, of course, the way that she's being treated, even if I unequivocally disagree with her politics, is unacceptable. Regardless, Caitlyn Jenner, as a trans woman, should be respected. Trans women are women, and the people who are abusing her are disgusting scoundrels. But if you think that folks like Marjorie Greene are an exception, then think again, you've been horribly mistaken. Now, some individuals in the Republican Party who are prominent have actually condemned the treatment of Caitlyn Jenner. One being Tommy Loren, saying, hearing how some conservatives treated Caitlyn Jenner at CPAC makes my blood boil. I like how she put conservative in quotes, suggesting that like if you are anti-trans, you're an exception to the rule. That's hilarious. There's no room for your hate in the America First movement. Laughable. We believe in freedom and we believe in limited government. The way she chooses to live her personal life harms you in no way.
Yes, because everyone knows one of the hallmarks of Trump's America First movement is inclusion and equality. And notice how she's still, like, as she's trying to defend Caitlyn Jenner, makes it seem as if her being transgender is a choice. She adds, the conservatives attacking Caitlyn for her personal choices attacked Trump for his and declared him to be adverse to Christian values. They were the bulk of the Never Trump pearl-clutching movement that suddenly became real quiet when his policies worked. Laughable. Save your BS. I don't support Caitlyn Jenner because she is trans. I agree with most of her policy ideas and know she will fight for California. She's also a kind human and more conservative than half the people with R's in Congress. I don't care how she identifies. She is more than that. Freedom first. Now, despite the multiple microaggressions towards transgender people and Caitlyn Jenner in these tweets, at least if we're trying to be charitable, we can say it looks like Tommy Loren is trying to grow. This is her taking a shot at individuals like Marjorie Greene and standing up for trans people. This is good. This is an improvement. Except mm, she's not the trans ally that you want her to be or hope that she would be because as this person points out, Squiddy on Twitter here, she's made a plethora of explicitly transphobic comments in the past, including this year alone. So this is another one of those cases where it's like, okay, I... I'm a Republican who doesn't support anything unless it affects me personally. So because she's presumably friends with Caitlyn Jenner and knows her on a deeper level, well, she doesn't want transphobia directed at her friend, but transphobia on a broader scale is what she promotes herself. She just doesn't want her friends who are transgender to be subjected to transphobia. The conservative movement is a lost cause. It's a lost cause. And anyone like Caitlyn Jenner, who's trying to hitch her wagon to this movement when they, again, have made it very clear that they want nothing to do with her and when their allies have gone out of their way to demonize transgender people. I mean, what are you doing, Caitlyn? What are you doing? Okay, you're economically conservative. Of course, transgender people don't have to be liberal or leftists. But I mean... This is gross. Like, you look like a masochist to keep identifying with this party. They want nothing to do with you, Caitlin. And if you can't see that by now, then I don't know what to say. How many more times do they have to heckle you? How many more times do they have to refer to you as a man and dead name you before you get the hint that this party is disgustingly bigoted? They still haven't embraced gay marriage. In fact, in the 2020 Republican platform, I believe... They wanted to overturn Obergefell v. Hodges. They want nothing to do with the LGBTQ plus community. So unless you accept their position that you are inferior, that dehumanizes you, you're not going to be welcomed. Even if you accept that as you did, they still might not welcome you because they don't like that you're transgender. It's disgusting and just honestly repugnant, but it's expected. These people are freaks and they're bigots. You should shun them, not try to embrace them and cozy up with them.